In just a few short years, East Coast Dyes went from a small creative firm to one of the largest players in the lacrosse industry. Greg is at the helm of one of the most creative outfits in all of lacrosse. What's going on guys? My name is Greg. I'm the president and co-founder of East Coast Eyes. We're a lacrosse company that specializes in lacrosse mesh, shafts, and heads. For this week, we're gonna have everyone string up a piece of Jim Malax's micro mesh. If you're not familiar, it's mesh that has 20 tiny little diamonds. And for me, it's the hardest piece of mesh that I've ever had to string. So I think it'd be a great challenge for you guys to try and string a really good looking, aesthetic, functional pocket with this pretty crazy and underused mesh. The Surgeon 10 500 is the latest in the Surgeon line, a line that's been going pretty strong for the past few years now. Main reason, it pretty much screams offensive capability. This head has a brand new shape, a brand new pattern, and of course, ACP technology. That's what the stringers are gonna be using this week's challenge. So now that we know what's up for our contestants in the final week of challenge, let's see what they had to make. What's going on guys, it's Greg from East Coast Eyes here for my week of String League. And in this week, we asked people to string the micro mesh, probably one of the hardest pieces of mesh to string. The entries were really awesome, so I'm gonna break down for you guys the order of the top five. So at number five, we have McLack strings. And for this pocket, I think he did a great job stringing the micro mesh as close as possible to how you would string up a normal piece of 10 diamond mesh. It turned out really clean, the pocket shape looked okay, but I think at the end of the day, with the techniques that he used to string it like a normal piece of mesh, uh, the pocket would become really baggy and long, really loose at the top, and end up lifting. So because of that, he's at the number five spot. At number four, we have Richie B. 77. He did a great job with this pocket. The snipe he took that went off the pipe into the target was pretty sick and overall his idea was very unique using the micro mesh like runners and then having pita twists going down the middle. Uh, I think the runners look really good. My only issue with this pocket is it looked a little sloppy, um, lacked some cleanliness. I think he could have done a little better with the runners and maybe done some strings down the side to more define them with runners, keep them a little more stable and give something for the pita twist to hang on to. So that's why he's at number four. At number three, we have Lacrosse Works, and I'm calling this the Shark Pocket. He had a really cool, really unique idea for this one, so we strung it, uh, kind of like normal mesh at the top, and when we got to the end, uh, because the micro mesh is so wide, he had a lot left over, so we actually split the mesh, took all the excess off, and stitched it back together, which made this really cool kind of shark fin uh, looking piece at the back. And I think it was a really innovative idea, helped him with the pocket shape, helped keep it from getting so baggy, uh, but at the end of the day, it did look a little sloppy. If I were him, I would've cut a little bit more mesh off, and because he didn't really do anything with the top string distribution, I think it would also get really loose at the top and end up hitting really hard if we were to take a full strength shot. So that's why he is at number three. In our number two spot, we have Jack Stringing. And I think this one was definitely the most innovative, most unique of the competition. Uh, he cut the corners off the micro mesh and then tied it down to the sidewalls and actually went back in, cut some more out and created a channel where he used twists to connect. And I think this created a really great area for the ball to sit a great channel, and with that V shape, um, you know, it definitely is very accurate. You can tell from how he was throwing with it. Uh, the only issues I had here with, with the huge corner cuts, I think catching, well, it could hit there and, and toss out, or even look like it might fit through there if you don't catch it right in the pocket. And also for ground balls, that really created an area that the ball could get stuck or have a hard time getting down into the pocket. So while it looked definitely the cleanest in the competition, it did have a couple possible functional issues that I really didn't like. And at number one, we have FL Stringer. This was definitely my favorite pocket. I think it was the cleanest looking, and it was definitely one that I felt like would work the best. So we did a modified uh, Shenango top string, which I think was the perfect solution for the width of the mesh, uh, but still not having to cut it. So without cutting it, bringing it down the sides, he was able to get some channel, keep it super tight without having to modify the mesh at all, which I really like. And he did a good job with the sidewall pattern, cinching it up nice at the bottom so it was not too baggy. And finally, the barrel nylons were a fantastic idea. As we saw some other entries, shooting strings are just too big for these micro mesh holes. And by using nylon strings, but also barreling them, uh, gave you a smooth release, but without trying to fit giant shooters through the teeny tiny little holes. So our winner for this week is FL Stringer. So overall, all five of these entries were fantastic. They did a really good job with the micro mesh, which is a tough thing to string. Uh, it's really not easy. I've done it before, and it is not fun. So kudos to all of them for making a really functional pocket, and ones that also looked really cool and had some unique ideas. So thanks for watching, guys. So there you have it. At the end of week five in the regular tournament season, we have our final scheduled score. What happens next week? We're going to let these stringers make whatever they want. All the points are doubled, so it's still anyone's game. We don't have anything to preview, so we're just going to leave you guys with this week's final scoreboard. So next time, guys, take care. Keep laxing.